everybody, Beyond Your TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Planet Zoo. The full release is here. Finally, we get to play it without having getting it ripped away from us for a month and only getting to play it for two weeks and all that fun stuff like in the beta. No, we finally get to have the full release and uh, what a full release it's been so far. So as of recording this, it is day two of Planet Zoo being out. Yesterday, I kind of fully planned on having a video come out, which I did. I had a, a tutorial video go out for a basic pathing and everything like that. And there'll be a few more tutorial videos out as well. It seems like you all uh, kind of enjoyed that. So I'll definitely get some more tutorial videos out. But I had uh, every plan to kind of get a video out like you're seeing right now. But unfortunately, halfway through the day, I had some terrible headaches. So I pretty much slept the rest of the day and didn't get uh, back around to playing Planet Zoo enjoyably, at least, until uh, later at night. And it was just way too late to do anything. So... Um, um, but yeah, anyways, we are here finally being able to build in the zoo and build the zoo that we kind of want to here. Oh, after a quick restart, that's because of the X bug and we'll get into talking about all that fun stuff there. But yeah, what are we building? As you can tell from the name of the video and the little quick sign that I put up there, this is Thornton Hill Zoo. So Thornton Hill Zoo is kind of a play on both my beta park or beta zoo and a zoo that I built in Planet Coaster called Green Hill Zoo. So I figured we'll do Thornton Hill Zoo. And um, again, as you saw at the beginning of the video there, I made a little sign for it. Um, I made that in a different iteration of this uh, map here. This is probably about the third different uh, iteration I have of this zoo so far. Far, um, one that I'm finally kind of uh, pleased with and happy with um, but yeah so here we are building in it there so Again, the inspiration for this zoo is going to be uh, kind of taking from Green Hill Zoo, if you watch that um, in Planet Coaster when I was building that. So kind of taking inspirations from that zoo and taking inspirations from Thornton Zoo, which was our beta zoo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I really liked a lot of the uh, fun ideas that we took from those uh, from that zoo. So, and a lot of those zoos, they're, uh, they're based, you know, I based a lot of what I made in those from uh, North American zoos. So more, you know, United States or American parks there or zoos. I'm going to keep saying parks. I know I am. I'm, I'm going to keep uh, switching up theme parks and zoos is because that's that's how it's going to go so <laughs> um but yeah anyways if you didn't see those uh, zoos there and you don't really know my uh building style that's kind of what we're going for with this it's going to be a um semi-realistic to really realistic as much as i can there i'll do as much research as i can for zoos um zoo that's kind of based in north america and everything there so yeah but uh, as you can see for our start here we have <clears throat> our nice little parking lot i uh, definitely kept it on the smaller side to get it going uh, but i think as we expand the zoo and see how big it's going to be and all that fun stuff we'll probably expand out the parking lot as well kind of gave myself um, a little bit of room to go ahead and do that and then uh moving on from the parking lot i know there's not too much you know it's a necessary thing but there's not too much to say about it you know it's a parking lot but <laughs> uh, moving on from the parking lot there you see we start a little plaza and that's going to be the entrance area uh into our zoo we're going to kind of just uh again have this big old open plaza area with some uh, a big ticket booth gate area and stuff like that there's that sign i was talking about before but anyways yeah so that's kind of the idea that we're going for as we're uh building here and moving along so um but again uh, hopefully everyone had a good first day with the full release i know there's a lot of newcomers to the planet series that are going to be picking up the game so if you stumble upon this video and you're stumbling upon uh, are you just uh are getting the planet series for the first time hello welcome how you doing welcome to the planet series we're all fine folks here <laughs> um but uh anyways yeah no it was a pretty good full uh uh first release day for everyone. I know there's a few bugs that everyone's been kind of uh, discussing and talking about. Um, I'll address it here. You kind of uh, saw at the beginning of the video where I had to rest uh, restart the uh, game there almost completely. Um, and that is because there's a new, uh, news, uh, an annoying, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, annoying. I don't know what I was saying before. An annoying little bug where um, if you hit X, it brings up your advanced move tool. Um, and sometimes it will just not work. Uh, so that's just one of the kind of little annoying bugs going on right now. And as a uh, Planet Coaster player for, you know, since the alpha days, uh, basically, and coming over to Planet Zoo, it's just kind of strange how some things feel so similar and yet so different as far as, like, the building uh, tool goes. I think that's another reason on top of me having a, again, nasty headache uh, yesterday where it literally took me out for half the day. Um, but also when I was building it, it just felt like, you know, it's the same kind of game, but it just felt a little bit foreign at the same time. And I think that's because a lot of the quality of life uh, building 
uh, choices in Planet Coaster haven't found their way over to Planet Zoo for some reason. Um, a lot of I was discussing this on the Ronation Discord and uh, with others and stuff like that. And a lot of us think it's just maybe a time constraint thing because it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense for um, the this team to uh, or the the company as a whole to go from Planet Coaster, which you know they kept updating and upgrading that as the uh, years went on and everything, to giving us this game, which feels like it's taken three steps back as um, as far as like the builder goes. The way it looks graphically, audio wise, gameplay wise too, even it's amazing. I love the strides, especially gameplay wise. The management has come uh, a long, long way. But it's just the uh, the builder. It's just kind of uh, interesting to see some of the things that haven't made it over. A lot of the items aren't um, flexi colored like they were in Planet Coaster. Um, just different little things here and there that I really hope uh, are going to make their way over in future free patches and stuff like that. So um, we'll see about that. But overall, um, you know, I don't I don't want to sound totally negative on the uh, on the full release or anything like that. I know I'm complaining because that's what what I do it's easy for people to complain right um, but no overall uh, I'm loving the game so far it's uh, I finally kind of found a groove that I like and you kind of see the architectural style that we're going here for um, with our zoo here but yeah I kind of found a, a little bit of a groove kind of got um, building here and just kind of uh, I guess you'd say just kind of lost myself in building which I haven't really done in a long time uh, Planet Coaster, a lot of my building came from uh, inspirational photos and uh, you know Google images and stuff like that. And a lot of my building in Planet Zoo will as well. But it's also really fun to just kind of look at the pieces that have been given to us and just kind of build with them. And that's kind of what I did here. I mean, this is very reminiscent of like, I guess you'd say almost like a Chicago style um, architecture there with the, especially the roofing and stuff like that, or maybe semi old British, I don't know. But uh, anyways, yeah, I didn't really use a reference photo for these uh, too much. Uh, just kind of was looking through the pieces and just having fun, you know, building with things that you haven't really uh, had too much um, experience building with. So, um, but yeah, so there is our uh, entrance gate there and entrance way, and we're gonna have these two older kind of buildings right here. This is gonna be like the original um, zoo buildings. Maybe they haven't always been used as entrance ways uh, maybe they have you know there's probably administration in as well um, we're also going to add in another building that's going to be our guest spawn point and I took this idea from uh, Green Hill Zoo, where at the beginning of Green Hill Zoo, the way to get the uh, go uh, the, the goss, the guests inside the zoo is I use a like a, a gift shop building basically, and then we're going to build that as well, where the uh, guest spawn point was uh, just to the left there. Um, we're going to do the same idea there, but the building that I'm going to build for it is going to be more modern uh, feel to it, and th that's kind of the idea I have for this zoo. And I, I kind of um, took this idea from Mike and John of the uh, the Bro Nation there, because they're doing a going to be doing their season two of planet bro coaster if you're not familiar with that definitely uh, go look that up um, but they're talking about the idea of building a zoo that's kind of in a transition time and that's very common for a lot of zoos uh, nowadays um, and what, we, what I mean is a transition from kind of that older kind of thinking or older kind of layouts and exhibits and stuff into this more modern um, way of you know animal enrichment and welfare at the forefront and making sure the exhibits and habitats and everything have the you know again the animal welfare and all that you know at the uh, forefront of the design and stuff so I kind of want to do that same kind of feel with it I was kind of thinking of doing that anyways but they just kind of uh, worded it a lot better and kind of sparked the idea for me and I was like yeah that's what I want to do um, so we're gonna do that same thing where it's gonna be kind of different parts of the zoo are gonna feel older and more original and other parts are gonna start to kind of feel more modern and more sleek in their design and just you know kind of intermixing of the two so that goes for the exhibits too we're gonna to have exhibits that are definitely you know not up to code for um, welfare of animals and you know are not good some of them are gonna be abandoned and it's not even being used anymore but they're still gonna be in the zoo other um, um, other ones are gonna look like they're this brand new you know 50 million dollar expansion for you know insert animal here and stuff so it's gonna be a really fun kind of uh, play with it and um, uh, all that fun stuff so it should be a, a fun series there so but uh, yeah the time-lapse is wrapping up there there's no cinematic this time but we will be doing cinematics and stuff like that when there's uh, animal enclosures and you know some more stuff to show off other than just a parking lot and three buildings so um, but again if, uh, if you're interested in all the uh, the realism and building you know a realistic zoo and kind of expanding it that way and stuff like that and this is your first time hanging out don't forget hit the uh, subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the Thornton Hills Zoo videos and stuff like that and uh, yeah hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out always appreciate it and until the next episode there y'all have a good one